Last week I definitely had a lull in, in my schedule in terms of running. I only had two runs during the week last week and then my weekend run it didn't end up hitting my goal of 16 ended up with 10 uh, but this week I definitely feel a lot better in terms of motivation and I ended up still with two runs during the week and my scheduled long run was a 10 miler I did that indoors just to see if if I had that same feeling as last week where I kind of just gave up halfway into the run but I was actually able to get to the 10 on the treadmill I set the treadmill goal to 16 I wanted to see if I could redeem myself from from the past episode but I figured I should ease my way into getting back on track getting back to at least three to five runs a week and really being consistent with with my running I think maybe not seeing my running as something that I have to do and more of something that I want to do something that that will increase my endurance and when I start associating running as a benefit to what I'm trying to achieve I think that's where my real happiness comes from as soon as I start thinking about scheduled blocks of running and I have to hit these I have to hit these you know these mile markers these these mileage that I set myself up for I feel that when I do that it makes me less motivated to do that one activity maybe it's just me but I feel that when I'm more free-flowing with my ideas free-flowing with what I want to do in the gym what I want to do with my cardio I feel more inclined to stick to the plan I feel more motivated to push out the results that I want and maybe it's just I'm being too hard on myself I'm, I'm my biggest critic and I think I'm just giving giving myself too much pressure to perform and I should really take take it down a notch and really find the joy and happiness that I once had not saying that I'm not as joyous or happy uh, from this whole process but uh, maybe it's just it's it's not at where I want it to be so maybe you know last week I mentioned that I was at like a 40% I want to try to hit I want to try to hit more in the higher ranges of, of like 80 90 and definitely figure out how I feel figure out how I feel when when I hit those 40s really feel what's making me have this sense of low motivation and I think maybe taking too much time to think about things maybe puts a hindrance on my motivation I think adding more activities 
kind of kind of um, occupying my brain with things will really help me out. Yeah, I think the motivation came back this week after my leg day. Uh, my leg day only went up to 275. I didn't feel any motivation to go any higher. I didn't have any drive. Um, but for, for a deadlift, the whole mindset really turned around. I went for four plates, 405, for three reps. I want to hope to get that to five reps in uh, by next or by the year end. So that's a, that's a short-term goal I'm looking for. Um, for my bench right now, I really want to see if I can hit anything more than five reps with 275. I think 275 is that is that barrier that I've been really meaning to to break through. It's something that. I've always been stuck at because um, either my chest has been cramping up or I'm just not I'm just not adventurous enough to take that risk. Um, but lately my benching has been has been feeling really great. I haven't been getting those cramps that I've always you know that that's always been around and I'm hoping to get anything more than five reps. Uh, here's me doing the 275 this week. That's feeling really good. It's like smooth. Um, just at the fourth rep, that's really what my capacity holds. So. Uh, I could muster out one last rep for the fifth one, but that might that might be a hamper on my continual progress. And here's my splits for this week. Uh, hopefully, we can increase the mileage on that. I know I have a much longer long run coming up. So watch out for that. Um, that's it for this one, and I'll catch you in the next one.